girls, you can read me mine. What's your zodiac sign? I'm trying to see if our stars align. What's your zodiac sign? We ain't got nothing left for time. What's your zodiac sign? Like, what's your zodiac sign? Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so this is you guys' weekly read. So you guys got love here, okay? This is a first John 4, 8 verse. So they want you to open up your heart to love. You could be definitely surrounded by people that love you at this time, or you could be just expressing love or giving love to people, okay? Um, but there's a lot of love around you um, currently at the moment, okay? So you guys got the sun is the overall energy for you guys. So yeah, this is the most happiest card here. So we got the sun is the overall energy. So yeah, I kind of feel like you want a happy, cheerful spirit. Okay, um, energy. I feel like you could be definitely gaining some type of clarity after um after some type of heartbreak or something like that here. Um, we have the will of fortune as well. So luck is definitely turning in your favor. Like the sun is the heavens. The heavens is shining on you, honey. Okay. Um, you can have Leo in your energy or any of the fixed signs. Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Taurus. You can have those signs in your chart. Okay. But yeah, um, I feel like, you know, you're really happy. Everything is changing for the better for you. Okay. Um, you're receiving a lot of good luck. Things are just happening. You know, for the better for you right now, okay? Um, we do have this three of swords energy here, and this pointed at this queen of cups, okay? So you could have been hurt, okay, when it came to queen, a king, somebody who loved you here, somebody who was trying to give you love. So it looks like somebody is trying to give you love, okay, with this queen of cups energy. This is somebody who has a lot of emotions for you, okay? Um, you could possibly have two children with this person, or um, because we see three kids here. So you could possibly be having two children with this person or that's something that's potential, okay, or three kids, okay, between two to three kids you could have with this person or that's supposed to happen. But it looks like you're holding back or pulling back from this person here with this four of pentacles energy, okay, and with this three of swords it's like you was hurt. So it's kind of like you guarded or blocked or... You have a sword up pointing towards this, this Queen of Cups. So this Queen of Cups is like holding out a cup of love here, okay? Um, possibly wanting to have children, you know, just extending their loving energy towards you here. And then we have this Three of Swords. It's like Cupid. But instead of them pointing the Cupid's bow, it's pointing a fucking sword, okay? And, and two swords in his head. And it's a heart. So you could have been heartbroken or something like that here. Okay, you could have been jaded, and this is the reason why you're putting the sword back at this Queen of Cups who's trying to offer you some type of love here. So you holding back, you really is holding back from this person, um, being to yourself. It's like, yeah, you're not trying to give this person any love, or you blocking out any love. It's like you pushing them away here. Um, Queen of Cups, I mean King of Cups is in the, in the reverse, so this could be your energy here, and it's like, um, you don't even want to be like in a relationship or even feel love. So I kind of feel like you could have walked away from, you know, a romantic situation here where somebody was trying to offer you love, you know. Um, yeah, you walked away from it. It's like you don't want to express these feelings. You want you don't want to feel these feelings. OK, as soon as somebody even come around thinking about love or offering you a cup of love, you shooting the fucking sword at the ass. It's like, yeah, like, yeah, I kind of feel like. But as far as like money and different things that you got going on, I feel like that's like changing. OK, like things is going in your favor here. OK, but when it comes to that love situation, it's like, yeah, you ain't even with that shit. So we got Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy here. OK, all the fixed signs and Leo. So, you guys also got um, matinee luck. And then we have justice in reverse. So, somebody could definitely be trying to, okay, manipulate somebody here. Like, manipulate um, with the matinee card puppeteering here, okay? When, it's time, when it comes to somebody's luck or finances, okay? So, somebody's trying to manipulate you when it comes to your winnings or finances. So, you could have had one something. Like I said... 
you in a good happy mood your luck is changing okay you be you could be coming into a lot of money or something like that and somebody is trying to manipulate you okay and possibly trying to take your money or take some type of check or take something that you had you know worked hard for or something like that here and we have the justice in reverse and that's not right so i kind of feel like you know um whoever this is that's doing this manipulation um i feel like that's not going to go blow over very well but yeah that's not right okay it's something in balance so it's an imbalance because somebody is trying to take somebody money or their check or something like that and it's just not right okay and it's because somebody is manipulating somebody and puffing tearing them okay the hand over their money or their check or whatever this is here with this luck so somebody is basically getting all this good luck and somebody else is trying to take it okay so this could be a libra here that's involved okay in this situation so we also got the auntie feeling ashamed that we have a doormat here. So this is pretty much self-explanatory. Somebody aunt could be ashamed for walking over somebody or you could be feeling ashamed for walking all over an aunt, okay? Whoever this aunt is, they a cool aunt, they a hipster aunt. It's like this this aunt is for the shits. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this aunt will ride with you. They'll fight out there with you and all that. You feel me? Like, this aunt will always have your side, but they feeling bad for walking all over you or treating you like a doormat. So they could have been the ones who needed your help or something like that here. And you could have been, um, you know, giving it to them or whatever the case may be. Looking out for your aunt, or whatever you know what I'm saying, because it's your cool, this the cool auntie, you know what I'm saying. But they feel bad that somebody was being a doormat. Either you was being a doormat, or you know they could have introduced you to somebody who was walking all over you, or whatever the case may be here. But nonetheless, somebody is feeling ashamed for walking all over an auntie, or they feeling this way about you. Okay, so for love, we have love language acts of service so we've seen that you know somebody is not trying to fall in love but somebody if you do get in a love relationship or in a connection this person likes when you do acts of service so they like when you take charge and just do shit that needs to be done like if they got to go to the doctor take their asses to the you know take them to the doctor or schedule a doctor's appointment or they need something from the market you know they could be like "Bae, i need this from the market and you just go ahead and grab it you don't be waiting around or you open up the refrigerator in the morning you see that it ain't no more milk or something in the refrigerator you go out and grab that shit you know what i'm saying bring it back because you know that that's something that need to be done you know you see the laundry detergent is out so you just go and run and grab you know the detergent and shit like that so they like when you be on top of shit you feel me so we also have free yourself. So yeah, somebody needs to free themselves possibly from something from the past. So this could be the reason why somebody is feeling jaded, okay? Or free themselves from somebody that's trying to steal that money, manipulate them and take that money here. That's not right. And I feel like um, you need to free yourself from this situation because we have free yourself here. And whatever it is, like... This could have hurt you like something from the past. Whatever this is, that past situation is causing you to shoot swords at people that's showing you love, okay? Or something like that here. But there's a need for you to free yourself. And it says it's time to take back control of your, of your life. Yeah, this is somebody who's being manipulated and being manipulated out of their fucking money. So every time somebody gets their check, somebody always got their hand out. Like, I need this money. I need that money. I need this. I need that. Like, the fuck? You feel me? You need to break free from that shit, okay? And then we have improving health. So if you could have been feeling sick or having some sort of health problems or something like that here, I feel like that's not something that's like long lasting or deadly or anything like that. It's something that could definitely be cured or fixed or healed and you definitely healing, okay? So whatever you're doing, whatever regiment you're doing, whatever that is, stick by that shit because that's actually helping you. Okay, so... um let me see so we have world-class hater so yeah it's a world-class hater around you so be on the lookout and be aware here somebody could be a public speaker okay we have there's something you need to accept before moving forward so yeah there's something that you need to accept before moving forward and i feel like that has a lot to do with somebody manipulating you for your money here or this is somebody that's um or this is about you being jaded and hurt okay and blocking and not letting love in. that's why love came out as the first card here they saying love like open your heart up to love like god is putting love in your life and it look like you could be shooting these motherfuckers down with daggers and shit you know what i'm saying instead of opening your heart up to love okay and then we have um you'd be surprised at how far you'll 
at how far you'll go. It says, take the next step. It says, plan, plan things. Um, it says, plan things. And it says, just go for it. Okay. Dream big. Okay. So yeah, you'll be you'll be surprised at how far you can go, okay, with the proper planning, dreaming big, okay, and just going for it. So we have um holding on to the idea of this connection. So somebody could be holding on to the idea of this connection or still holding on to this, you know, somebody could still be holding on to the idea of some type of connection here. And this could be where somebody is like manipulating somebody. We have um someone is thinking about how happy they were together. Yeah, so somebody is definitely thinking about how happy y'all was together here. We have the sun card, which was the overall energy here, happiness. You know, that's good times. You know what I'm saying? We have loving you from afar. So yeah, somebody is gonna love you from afar. You shooting daggers at their asses. You know what I'm saying? They offering that cup of love and you ain't even accepting it. So yeah, they're gonna love you from afar. We have this bitch is crazy as fuck. I mean, like, the real kind. So, yeah, you can be dealing with a crazy bitch, okay? Or somebody is crazy in the situation, and they real fucking crazy, like, mental ill, like, I'm about to say mental illness crazy, like, motherfucking padlock, um, straight jacket, straight jacket, padlock crazy, okay? We have, um, give all the glory to God. It says, progress. Oh, give all the glory to God, okay? The almighty the Lord and Savior, okay? Yeah, praises to the Almighty God, the Lord and Savior. So somebody could be a loan officer or somebody could be seeing a loan officer, okay? Or something could be going on where somebody needs a loan. Somebody is an enabler here, yeah. So somebody is coming off as the loan officer, okay? Where they loaning motherfucking shit, enabling people. We have meeting on the dating app. So you could have met somebody on a dating app here. We have put the motherfucker on QT. Yeah, so you set some shit down there. You put somebody on quiet time. <laughs> it says baby mama sleeping with the bestie while you're locked up over the jail. So yeah, a baby mother is sleeping with somebody's best friend while somebody is in jail locked up. We have the girlfriend experience here. Somebody is divinely guided. Okay, it says, I'm listening because you mean it a whole lot of sense. So, yeah, somebody is listening to you, somebody intel, okay, because they're making some sense here. He says, they call CPS to get your kids thrown or taken away. So, yeah, be on the lookout because somebody is crazy as shit, okay, like I said, pet lot crazy. And then the first thing that came out was world class hater. So, yeah, this is somebody that's trying to hate on you or something like that here. And I kind of feel like this person is trying to get your children taken away from you in some type of way. We have, this is disappointing. Yeah, so something could have been disappointing to find out. You know, we have um, always on my mind. So somebody is always thinking of you. But he says, comic lied about a daughter. So yeah, somebody comic had lied about some type of daughter that they got. It says, I remember you from a past life. So yeah, somebody, you know, somebody had a past life connection here. We have, I've been, I've never received love from, um, from my parents. So somebody has past issues. Like I said, okay, things that happened from that past, hurt from that past, things from that past they have to deal with here and break free from. We have lay down and relax yourself. So yeah, somebody just need to relax and chill. Okay, somebody just be doing too much, overdoing it, you know, overworking, you know, um, and somebody just need to take a break and relax. We have chosen, um, Chosen couple handpicked by God. Yeah. So if somebody is a chosen couple. God is handpicking somebody. Two people to literally be together here. We have talk of the town. Yeah. And when these two people get together, they're going to be the talk of the town. Or whoever these two people that's chosen to be together. People are always talking about them all the time. Or always want to know what the fuck is going on with them. Or whatever the case may be here. We have every time you leave, you get sucked back in. So yeah, every time you try to leave a situation here, does somebody always pull you back in? They can have something to do with a daughter, okay? Somebody is a broke bitch, yeah, because they broke, so they need you, so you don't walk away from them. Somebody is a Republican Party. We have good karma. Somebody has great karma here. We've seen that with the World of Fortune. So somebody is happy. They're getting great karma here, but somebody is trying to manipulate and take somebody's luck and take somebody's winnings, and that shit ain't right. 
we have um gay man turned straight and marries a woman. So yeah, it was a gay man here who had turned straight and they end up marrying a female. We have someone of the someone of the friends was sleeping with the ex. So yeah, one of the friends was sleeping with somebody ex here. So this could have been whoever that was that was sleeping with somebody best friend that was locked up. <coughs> Living my best life. Yes, yeah, somebody has ain't giving a fuck. They're living their best life right now. This is as soon as they get, as soon as they get a come up, they shit on you. Who's, they shit on you who's been there for them. Yeah, so as soon as somebody get a come up, they start shitting on you and shit. You feel me? And you've been there for them. You've been rocking out for them and shit like that here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this person has been manipulating you, <coughs> trying to take your money, whatever the case may be here. And as soon as they come up on some shit, they can't look out for you, but they expect you to do this, this stuff for them. That's fucked up. We have a cookout is here, so something could have took place at a cookout, or somebody could be having a cookout. We have the comment got a family, got family members to turn on a divine family. They could have did this shit at the cookout, okay? We have these niggas are here trying to wife Jasmine's and shit. Please have a seat. Yes. These ladies out here trying to wife Jasmine's and shit. Like, please have a seat. And this girl, I said this because this. <laughs> not to say anything about people that's named as Jasmine's, okay? Your name can be Jasmine, but it's, I know this girl that's by this name. And me and this girl is just, uh uh. So, yeah, like, Shorty is a whole, like, thought box. That bitch is, like, insane. She fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, she a whole stalker. Like, everything so yes yeah, anybody that fit those descriptions that i'm saying not to say that that's your name because everybody that has that name probably ain't like that but this is a fucking crazy bitch like she a single white female hoe for real so if, if somebody's a single white female in your area or that's like a, around you or whatever the case it be yeah like i said padlock okay straight jacket crazy that's her so yeah, and they out here wifing these type of bitches. So yeah, somebody is wifing a crazy ass bitch. Like that's what I'm saying. And they don't see this. We have a makeup artist here, so somebody could do makeup. Somebody can be a good makeup artist here. We have um the step aunt be talking big shit about you. Yeah, so we got a step aunt here. Then we had an auntie was feeling bad, uh, feeling ashamed about some shit. So yeah, a step aunt be talking big shit about somebody. So this is an aunt that somebody is married, um, aunt uh, out of marriage or whatever. So somebody um likes to watch war films. We have the Los Angeles Rams is here, disaster films. Somebody got short red hair, and it's crazy because this aunt got short red hair in this fucking picture. So somebody aunt had like a short red haircut or a bob or something like that here. Um, we have last week, or that can be anybody. Uh, we have zero one zero zero one to zero five five four four. We have an Aquarius and a Leo relationship. We have a Honda Accord. We have this City High verse. It says, "What would you do if your son was at home crying on alone on the bedroom floor because he's hungry, and the only way to feed him is to sleep with a man for a little bit of money because his daddy's gone?" Yeah. So somebody is like going through the struggle right now. So yeah, this is what somebody is going through. But whoever this is, I feel like somebody is doing all they can to take care of their kids or whatever the case may be here. But somebody is like trying to attack them and call CPS on them or some shit like that here. Or this is just like a single mother that's like struggling or some shit here. We have a Virgo and a Libra relationship. Something could have happened in January. We have group sex orgies. Okay, we have giving out the dick like hotcakes. So, yeah, somebody just fucking around, giving out dick like hotcakes. We have this Tamir verse. It says, still feels like the first time we met when I kissed you. you when I kissed you and told you I loved you, we still run around like teenagers. It says, um, we start running around like teenagers when we grow, when we grow and, um, and we, we start running around like teenagers. Now we grown and married with kids. Yeah. So this is about like first time love. So I kind of feel like this is like talking about like two people that's older or whatever the case may be here. They still run around like first love energy. This is somebody who's like really happy and loving their wife or husband, okay? Or reminiscent about how happy they are with their husband or wife. Okay, somebody could be Italian. We have an oval face. Okay, something could have happened on Tuesday. We have a Pisces and a Pisces relationship. Something could have took place on April Fool's Day. 
Okay, we have uh, somebody got a thin upper lips. We have 48001 to 49971. Somebody wears contact. Okay, something could have happened on a Sunday. Somebody got short lashes. And we had five months ago. And then we have um, somebody like easy listening music. And then somebody riding a dick fast from the front. So somebody like that. And then we have 83201 to 83877. Okay. So the initials that um, could be involved in a situation, first, middle, or last. We have a G. We have an E. We have a J. We have another E. We have an H. We have an L. An M. An R. Two R's. Okay. And then we have a rising can a cancer rising. Somebody that's an Aquarius moon. Somebody that's a Gemini Venus. A Pisces Venus, a Leo Venus, a Capricorn Moon, a Gemini Moon, and a Libra Moon here, okay? So hopefully you guys got something from this. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop your tea in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.